Okay. This is just fixing the sliding door, back door, because apparently the cat just, oh look, look it's my rabbit ear how to tie a bow thing. I at least found a diagram for my rabbit ear how to tie a bow thing that I do. I have started the broadcast. Okay. Well, there we go. Who's got volume? Oh, did, did he have headphones plugged in? Yeah, it's got And then we're going to add it to the guide. Just doing. Okay. Hello, Deborah, and hello, Joanne. Oh, I'm trying to get in here now. Really, you know, just on the go slow. Naomi's put in the live notification group. Oh, got no video. Mine's a blank screen. Here we go. Hello Tash, hello Sandra. Hello Di, those over on the tube. And we'll just wait for the plane to take off. And stink us all out without gas. That's a big boy to be sending off in the afternoon though. Hello Cheryl, how are you? I don't think he wanted to. It was being in a Kono pilot. He didn't want to use the whole runway. Right. I have a little bit left. On week three. We're using magical creatures this week. And this is what we did yesterday. Um, okay, Cheryl. Um, Hello, Debbie. I was going quietly insane, attempting to send a message on YouTube. Does not work the same. I oh, know, Debbie. No, YouTube is very different. You leave comments on YouTube or you can type a thing in, but you've got to be logged into YouTube. You've actually got to be logged in and it's just your Google login. So you, to be logged into YouTube, you're just using your Google login, whatever your Google it, login is, or Gmail. Um, um, hello, Pam and Robin. How is the weather there? Um, the clouds have broken up a lot. It was a little hot this afternoon, but still not summer weather. It's like spring weather. Um, this morning when BOM was showing that there were no clouds over us at all, it was cloudy and drizzly and miserable and raining. Hello, Sandy. Um, but hopefully the wet's gone here. Hopefully we're going to get back to summer soon. Which is hot, but hot's nice. We've also got Jacqueline, Sally and Leanne on our video. Well, hello, Jacqueline, Sally, Leanne. Yeah, so it's the first time in like seven or eight days it hasn't rained, something like that. And Cheryl trained us as well. She's having that little bite. Yep, that's a great comment. So, these are all the bits we've got left. Oh, have fun. Oh, sorry. Um, let's cut this piece down of Runaway Princess number four. 
let's cut it down now. I'm going to cut it down and I'm going to leave the barcode on so that my bit I cut off is past. Let's cut it down to our 12 inches. And let's think about we've got the magic one. Yeah, it's one princess paper four. We've got our magical word. And then we've got. Do you like that piece of paper? I forgot we had that piece. Ooh. Well, aren't you brilliant? Well, I don't think it's the bottom of that, I think, because we have that pink galaxy one in the same range. Hmm. Which is very popular. I'm thinking dragons. Oh, you going to put this page no idea. I've got to organise those photos you gave me for Christmas. I have no idea what you are. I don't know. Yep, I know. They're not organised. They're not in any date order. There's no rhyme or reason with them. I completely understand that. Unfortunately, Christmas gifts aren't miracles. Miracle of Christmas did not come with that gift. Not exactly. Oh, Tanya and also Hello, Lee. Hello, Tanya. Hello, Deborah. Yep, the dragons are cute. Can you go, please? Oi. Yeah, it goes up and goes oi. If a unicorn would allow a frog to sit on its back. Maybe a very friendly unicorn. This are is we, one are we just gonna put um colour cuts on this page? <laughs> Maybe. I think you'd have to ask Amelia. She seems to be an expert in all those fields. If I put something across the middle, you know, that's pretty cool. I cover up the really interesting bit. I've got to plan that. What's your plan, Jan? You can't shoot, you can't shoot me down immediately. So what you do is, is you put that piece, the green piece, along the middle, right? But then you come in and you hack a hole and you put the strip of the really cool stuff on the top. Yeah, I could do that, couldn't I? You've ripped edges to match the galaxy. Yeah, I could definitely do that. And, and not just a pretty face. And I didn't suggest white paint at all of that scenario. It's got white paint on it. Well, you could ink it with white paint. Uh, so, yep. Yep, knew that face was coming. Well, oh, I'm just thinking. I'll work out what I'm going to fill my magical with. If I'm going to fill it with. Uh, Deborah says hippos that the birds ride um, on their uh, in their backs. So. Yep. Like, Unicorns and frogs. It's a match made in heaven. Righty. So let's cut 
our piece of Dreamland number four down to 12 inches. I'm going to cut it just over so it overhangs. And then let's cross cut that at, hmm, I got a hack out of that. Let's cross cut it at six inches. That was a bit messy. Uh, Lee's suggestion is that the star paper get cut in half and redrawn so the galaxy is at the top and bottom of the page. Oh, that's a good idea. It's not a bad paper. idea. It is easier than hacking a half. Because mm, I'm still going to stick my photos across the middle. Actually like that color better. Do you want the pink? Mm-hmm. I don't have a pink pastel pen. You have a pastel pen set. Oh yeah, I have them. I do have them. Pink side. Mm. So does Leanne and um, Jacqueline and Karen H. I think the Green Dragons look very cute. And um, Karen H. also suggests that the Green Dragons will stand out more if um, mm. you use the pink instead of the green. I want to try and show you how to make something out of nothing. Like really something out of absolutely nothing. It does look magical, doesn't it? So from our six inch wide piece of pink, we're going to tear like a quarter of an inch tiny bit off the two long edges. mouse's ears or the rat's ears. The closest thing to a rat I could get. I think that's So let's put some double sided tape on the two long edges. So you're going to have to watch what I do because it's going to be a little convoluted, but it's actually going to save us. A whole lot of stressful stuff. Right, so we're going to peel off, peel off one edge, the top edge. Only one edge. 
Let's put that about, what's that distance? Well, like two and a half inches from the top. I've only done one edge right. I'm going to roll this back. Now we're not going to cut the whole way across at this point in time. We're going to start like about half an inch in. I'm going to cut across as close as we possibly can without snipping it. Quarter inch tape, like six mil tape would be really good for this, but I'm gonna stop like half an inch from the end. So see, we've cut half an inch in and half an inch in. So six mil tape would be good, but it would actually peel off. Okay, now we're gonna lay this down like this. Make sure this is straight against this edge. We're going to stick, right? Turn it over. And then we're going to snip there and there. See, this is while I was silent, I was thinking. This is a cool idea. This is the best way to gut something I've ever done. I've just got the maximum out of this baby. I'm going to cut as close as we can. Yeah, and you know what? We If we'd only hacked a hole, we wouldn't have it the full width, would we? And then we're going to tear along the two long edges. Just neaten that up a bit. Uh, Leanne says you are very clever. And Dee and Leslie have joined us. Hello, Dee and Leslie. Hello, Karen. Thank you, Leanne. Rats aren't magical. Oh, yes, but but don't we all know of a one-toed rat that is? Oh, my God. Who was it given? A toe missing. Um, Deborah and I have had a discussion about this today in secret. Deborah and I were messaging. And Deborah, Quentin was meant to ring you, but yeah. He got sidetracked. He did. He's got to ring you. I'm really good at getting sidetracked. Well, he did have to take me to the chiropractor. It's not like I can just take myself places. Mm. Glad I walk in, Seb goes, mm, I see things most likely have not improved because you're still being chauffeur driven around. How's that going? And you get up me for being blunt. <sighs> Seb's allowed to be bumped. What? Good at being oh, by the way, they cancelled all their health insurance cards. You know how they send us two new health insurance cards? They cancelled all the others, so yours won't work again. So now we have to go and find. So I've got the two new ones, but two health insurance cards for five people does not work well. Because Milton's, oh no, Milton's not on. I'm not paying for Milton anymore. He got his own. Holy crap. I'm not paying um, for him Deborah, anymore. Deborah says, well, that saves measurements. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. That was pretty nifty, I think. It turned out pretty nifty. And, um... Karen Hank says, what rat? I don't know. And Deborah says he, she figured that Dad was busy. Mary's joined us. Who has? tackling the front of the today. Who's joined us? Mary. Oh, hello, Mary. How are you? And so is Diane G. Sorry. Mmm. Um. Hello, Mary and Diane. Um. What rat? Just think. A rat with a toe missing. You can't type his name. Oh, 
so if we did do that, I feel that we would need to have have it as yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's put tape top and bottom and we're going to do the same thing again. Yep. Don't stretch the tape when you do this. This is? Oh, four inches. So let's stick it in the middle. And we're only sticking on one side. Bunny peel tape off one edge. Sort of centre it. Get it straight on the edge, Lisa. Centre it. Ish. A book movie, a book movie called Wizards, and Karen H says, "Okay, in a show or movie? Yeah, movie. Uh, all three. It's not a show. No, but I'm saying book, movie, or Wizards, or movie of Wizards. I'll all, all Wizards. I'll um both for Debbie. Oh shit! I cut from the edge. <laughs> so we're gonna come in a little bit. I started cutting from the edge, didn't I? Come in just a little bit and start cutting. I'm not going to cut all the way to where I cut before. No, I've got to look where I cut to. I cut to there. Right. Slow that down. Glitter, um, non-contagious. That's what it is. I call it non-productive. Non-contagious glitter. Look at that. Okay. Uh, can't remember any such character at all. A rat with a toe missing. Okay. There's three main characters. can't tell you because I'll be in trouble if I do Why? Like who? someone will dub me in So let's get this and let's do G I C A L here. And uh, Deborah uh, Tane would like to make a correction. Uh, the glitter is called Best, Best glitter, glitter in the World. world. <laughs> Love your work, Tanya. Oh, there's um, a day to remember, it's got glitter in it. There's a new colour of glitter coming in the day to remember. So we're doing the G I C A. The Gicker. The rain might have gone away, but Naomi still swam in the 25 metre heated pool today. Because the 50 metre would have been icy cold. I put my toes in and I was like, you know what? Pneumonia is not something that I have on my bucket list this year. 
So Nine, the minor is not on our vision board, is it? No, I didn't print out a picture of that. So um, I don't know if Naomi's really happy because she wanted a particular car on the family vision board and her dad said, no, you're not getting one of those. You're getting one of these. You get the Corolla instead. Corolla doesn't come in my green though. She doesn't like the colour of the Corolla, but she wants the, um, she wants the engine and, uh, and the um, economy of the Corolla. Maybe you could petition them. And then let's stick our M and our A on here. Let's I was already realistically going to step down with the Yaris because they kept, they took out the Barbie thing version. Tanya says she can't wait to see what the new bit of colour is. It is nice. It's nice. It's pretty. And Lorraine has joined us. Hello. Hello, Lorraine. How are you? Hello, anyone else that's watching that hasn't said hello? I have no clue. It's really creepy in the movies and books. The actor is just creepy no matter what. No, I think he was in Sweeney Todd as like the judges like underhand and the one that Johnny Depp was in. He just, he always plays creepy people. He reminds me of one of the characters out of Steptoe and Son. Do I know this thing? No. You're so certain. How? Is it an old show or something? Oh, it's a really old pommy show. Okay, we've done our M and our A. I thought you being served. That's actually one of my favourite TV shows. And Mrs. Bouquet. Mrs. Bouquet. Mrs. Bucket. The Bucket Woman. I'm not squeezing enough. My arm actually really hurts. You got this. Right, yeah. Karen H thinks you're too young. Tell what step toe and son. <laughs> yeah, he just yeah, the actor that played this creature. Wow. This is actually a hell of a lot cuter than the creature in particular. Okay, let's do our L now and a little scrap we've got left. Now remember we turned our pattern paper sideways to do our letters. Deborah loves Steptoe. And Lorraine has been banished up to the up to the lounge room. Can't Bluetooth with the loaned cochlea. Oh that's not good, Lorraine. That's Dodge. Yeah. And maybe we put a little border of green around it. Let's just set that aside for the Let's get our critters back. Oh, we need to stick our bits in our letters. Uh, not to be Actually, like, no, I'm not sticking my bits in my letters yet. We're going to do some cheetah readering. Not to be the devil's advocate. Yeah. But uh, why are we sticking the photos? I don't know. We might not have any. It can't be another one of those weeks. Where I don't want to put photos on it. We had that last week. We've had that quite a bit. Let's deal with our title. We need to deal with our title. Okay. Through our medals. We're not, not going to do them just yet. Karen's suggesting photos along the bottom and Bronnie has joined us. Hello, Bronnie. 
And then um, some the fallout was the creepy ditty on it. Yeah. Didn't they have like a junk yard or something? I don't recall what it was about. I'm positive it gave me nightmares. Once or twice I saw it. Not watched a whole bit of it. Okay. Mum wants that crime gum that we don't watch. Is it SVU? SVU. Uh, SVU we actually find quite upsetting. Um, it's just the nature of the crimes. We just find it quite... I can find it quite upsetting. I think about it too much. Because a lot of it's kind of based on true stories. Like they do take it from headlines and things so it's quite I find it quite upsetting we at uh, Quentin and I have watched most of SVU when we were younger you do know that the dad and I watched a lot of it when we were younger uh, uh, and I wasn't a fan of Criminal Minds because it was a bit freaky some of the psychos oh Mums and I used to watch it on Wednesdays when you were at the shop and Grandma fell asleep on the couch um yeah. Yeah, when you were probably way too young to be watching Criminal Minds. You're probably oh, too old to have a babysitter, but my mother insisted. Yeah. Uh, Karen H says it was one of the very rare English shows that I enjoy. I oh, we, we only got ABC when I was a kid, so black and white ABC in the days of colour. Uh, she also says uh, that, yes, basically lived in a junkyard. Yep. I, oh, Doctor Who used to be quite traumatising, but I still watched it as a kid. It wasn't as traumatic as what having to watch the news. Okay, I'm starting to get, like, the picture of what this is now. Okay. Rightio. I'm thinking a little tiny green border, and if we're going to do a little green border, then let's do our middles. But... We could just stick these on and not cut them out. If I cut, if I stick these on green and stick them on, then I'm going to cut these other bits and bobs out. What am I going to do? Maybe I'll cut these other bits and bobs out. Okie doke. Am I going to cut them out? No, I'm just going to stick them on. Karen is that uh, Criminal Minds was really intense. Carolyn Stone does her mm. wall. Watched a couple of episodes of Criminal Minds. Um, what was that one we watched last night? Murder is My Life? Yeah, that's a new one. Eh? Oh, that's quite interesting. Hopefully they don't have it on again because we do not need to get hooked on anything else. Yeah, no, but it was quite interesting. Australian actors, Kiwi actors. It's quite good. Uh, what did we watch? Oh, we watched We watched um, some Shortland Street on the holidays. Shortland Street is a, um, from New Zealand, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a hospital drama in New Zealand. Oh, I accidentally miscounted nature's. Yeah, I was gonna, but then if I do that, I've got to cut this bit out and this bit and this bit and this bit, and I'm not doing that. Oh, I see. Those so, bits are all staying in place. So the next time you get someone else lazy, I can be like, well, I have an wow. old video. You oh, can so call me lazy for doing this, or I think it's a design feature. <laughs> Accent. Um. Hello, how many classes are we teaching next weekend? Not this weekend, next weekend? Well, we haven't confirmed class schedule yet. I realised that the other day, by the way. 
No, we didn't have a meeting on Monday. No. We taught a class instead. Well, you have a meeting like Friday. You if need to have a meeting tomorrow. Sooner. But I work in the afternoon. Right, yeah. Deborah says she always goes back to dad's arm. <laughs> Uh, Tanya D is like me. She loves Mrs. Bucket and Vicar of Dibley. Oh, Wilson used to love Vicar of Dibley. They put on the same Christmas special for Vicar of Dibley every Christmas. And it's no, they didn't this year. No, they did, but we missed it. It was on the first Sunday of December. Oh, God. We completely missed it. By the way, on Christmas Eve, did anyone else notice that two channels were playing Shrek movies? Like Christmas. Two anyway. Um, Deborah yeah. says the 13 is good. It's an Aussie jury story. Okay. Um, and Karen H wants to know about Cold Case. If we pushed it. I feel like oh, yeah, know. Cold Case. Yes, yes, yes. We like Cold Case. And we were watching, what's the one with um, The Closer? Cold Case. We like Cold Case and I like The Closer. Although we haven't watched the final season of The Closer. It got a bit intense with that whole serial killer. It did towards the end of the second last season. And the final season of The Closer, we really, we've only watched a couple. We're not really. It's 24 episodes in the last season of The Closer. It's really intense, but. Um, Lorraine's son gets some of the year. Yeah. Because uh, he got wearing the box set of The Vicar of Ghibli. Oh. How sadly there's no subtitles and. I think Milton has forgotten that um, we actually have some of the Vicky Dibley on DVD or video or something. Uh, Jacqueline thinks that British do detective slash crime mini series the best. Yes, watch Vera. Yeah, we do like Vera. Yeah, yeah, and uh, and and we're all a bit Midsummer Murders. We we're all Midsummer Murder fans around here. We do like Midsummer Murders. Stopped watching NCIS because they kept on getting to a point and then going back to the beginning. Sure. Like Lucy Lawless was quite a good one as well. Yeah. Karen H agrees with Jacqueline that the British ones seem more authentic rather than the American ones that are a bit more melodramatic. Um, murder is my life last night. Some of the actors weren't actual actors. They were a bit more like real people. They weren't as polished. It was, it, it wasn't the best, it, like if you're looking for polished acting, some of them weren't polished actors, but they were sort of real people. Um, I kind of didn't mind that. Um, Deborah says that. Um, agrees that British make like the best like mini series and shows like Call the Midwife is fabulous. Cool Call the Midwife has been going forever, hasn't it? Yeah. And geez, they they're highlighting the Flamita Hyde, you know, and I think yeah, some of the atrocities the that happened to women and that. Yeah. What's that? The highlight tuberculosis. Tuberculosis, yeah, and some of the things that happened and. But it didn't just happen in the UK. Those things happened all over the world. Karen H uh, and Deborah both. Uh, Karen H loves the closer. Deborah says she's going to have to find it. Yes, it's on the back channels. Um, it's not on right now. They took it off. Remember? They don't often play the final season. In any case, they started playing the final season, um, but they don't often play the final season through. Oh, look at that. How cool is that? Now, I like that. Oh, 
it's not cut really well. Tanya B agrees that Vera and it's in Murders is great. So, uh, and then just Karen H doesn't watch. That is my life. No, we just found it yesterday. No, we found it last night. It was on 53 after Bull last night. Uh, I'm not a big fan of Bull. I'll watch it. But, yeah, sometimes it's a bit, because it's an hour and it's sort of, and most of them are an hour. Sometimes I find that Bull is a bit, bit much. Like it's a bit addictive and it's a bit late for me sometimes because I'm trying to actually get more sleep. I need to get more sleep so I shouldn't really stay up. Um, Murder is my life I really shouldn't have watched last night. But I had a kid that was being a night owl. Amelia. She saw the start of it. Little night owl. That's right. And... Um... Jacqueline's watching the latest season of Silent Witness, and Cheryl says it does look magical. Oh, and uh, Happy Valley is another good one. Oh, I haven't watched Happy Valley. Um, Karen actually agrees that they're on way too late, but the life's full. It's too late. I need to work out how to do streaming, but I'm not... We don't have the right TV. I'm afraid the person for that is currently in prison. Yeah. Because no, I will not be teaching you that school. Yeah, I don't need to know. Because we know the consequences. No, I just don't need to know. I think we will pass you the black card. No. What's my boy? Making a page. What's your favourite TV show? Shrek. Really? I'm going to see how much yellow I've got. I'm going to cut a four inch by four inch piece of the world's best glitter. So I've got a four inch by four inch piece of that in the yarlo. So then I'm going to cut a three and three quarter inch by three and three quarter inch photo. Question. What's yarlo? Oh, okay. And then I'm going to cut three little photos that are three by three inches. This black is not in the kit. These are my fake photos. Fakey photos. So only one of them is not on the map? No. And then from this smooth white I've got left over, I'm going to cut a four and one eighth inch by four and one eighth inch piece. And then I'm going to cut three pieces that are three and one eighth by three and one eighth. School yeah. Yeah, you need to start going to bed earlier. Horrified when my 14 year old granddaughter told me her friends were watching Dharma. Who just can't understand how parents could. Oh, yeah, no. No, no, no. Yeah. Some parents don't have. You're going to school next week. You're going to have to go to school. Go. Go to bed early. Well, besides the fact you're not a parent, and then he's doing year 11. 
He's going to go at his actual bank talk. He doesn't have one. Oh. What are we thinking? Something like that. This is a three and three quarter inch by three and three quarter inch bakey photo. And this is a three inch by three inch bakey photo. So let's get all our photos prepped, cut our photo mats out. So I'm going to cut the middle out of each of our photo mats. That's where that yellow came from. It's the middle out of a mat on my photo, on my card, the middle out of the centerpiece to my card. Yeah, no, we're back on Monday. We have a public holiday on Thursday of the first week back. I'm looking forward to that public holiday. Why? Because we're working the whole day. Well, I initially thought I was going to get a sleep in the middle of the week. I was like, oh, yeah. No, no, no. I realise that. We've got a daily roundup. Actually going to be getting. Oh, so good quality time is not being described. And Tanya, you will be really happy with some of the stuff I've designed. It's going to make you happy. I, think happy. Oh, I hope everyone's happy. We've got a lot more left. But Tanya loves, in particular, one of the products. We've got a lot more left to design before next week. Yep. Yep. My arm hurts. The thought of it. What if I give you some Tanadol? Design where you like, like dosed on probably, probably not. It's probably gonna look like rubbish. Look I could design rubbish. It'll look beautiful at the time. Yes. Come on. She's here to say goodnight. <laughs> Sorry. Come on, we'll check if you take the thing properly. Give me a look. Anything we need to do? Uh, yeah, the sides need a bit more of a clean. Just give her a Dumbledore bit while you do it. No, I don't like Dumbledore bits. Oh, okay, come on, you ready? Good night, have a good day. Mwah. See you in the morning. Love ya. See you in the morning. Especially wow. creative builders. I know. Where he gets one day sleep in, he gets back Saturday morning. Oh, wow. Yeah. He's back to school for him. What grade's he in this year? Is it nine? Or eight? Nine. What grade is Rory in this year? Everyone's saying goodnight, Mealy. Can you blow your nose? Okay. Nine. There you go. That's right. Oh crap. That's right. There's um a year in between the two boys. We have ten in between. No, it's done. Year 10. Oh, year 11, I mean. Just done year 10. 
bit of a bit of a stressful program he's doing. Because he's doing music. His three electives are music, chemistry, and art. Okay, we're going to put this photo on foam. Let's get some foam for that. I don't know what that message was. This dragon up the top up here, so this one. Let's let's look at what's definitely going on foam. This dragon up here, flying dragon. I'm gonna put it on foam. I'm probably gonna to have to relent and buy baby wipes. I know I was doing my no baby wipe thing, but. I wanted to do some Copic colouring the other day. And I do actually clean my stamps after I Copic colour. So feeling I'm going to need to buy baby wipes. So the unicorn is on foam. And this dragon we're going to put on foam. And this mousey here, which is kind of a rat, meant to be, it represents a rat. So it's too cute. It's metaphorical. It's a metaphorical rat. Did I use that word correctly? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Let's put this frog on foam. And let's put our title on foam. Geez, we chat about all sorts. What do we chat about tonight? Um, crime shows. Crime shows. Well, we, we did start off with Mrs. Buckley. Mrs. No, we started off with that actor, the creepy actor that plays the oh, rat. Yeah. No, shush. What? You're not allowed to say it. Why would you get in trouble for it? Oh, I'm not brand actually got in trouble. I'm not selling anything. Oh, I'm trying to get anything that looks like that character. Not really. Another phone call. The rat watches in the house. Looks more like. What metaphorical mouse. Metaphorical rat, which is a mouse. Oops. Okay, so we've got all the strands of gold we have left. That beautiful, thin, goldy stuff from our poor part stringy stuff. So as many bits of that as we can. And let's trap... It's a dragon. Let's trap some under our dragon up here. So you're not going to try and purposely stick that down and just let it like flow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, tail off, tail off. That was a bit dodge. Righty -o. So let's put these two little photos. Let's move some of this stuff. Have a little bit down here that comes below, but have most of it. Up there. Right. So we're going to put these two. Let's come up, say, an inch from the bottom. Let's 
so we'll say an inch from the bottom and we'll come in about two inches from the left. So one, have about a quarter of an inch between. Two, So we're kind of going to build this top, bottom, top, bottom. We're going to jump around between the top and the bottom to try and get it so that it's stuck down but it looks nice. Then we're going to put our title on because our titles kind of, kind of rest on these bottom photos, sort of like this. On there like that. And line up with the edge here and I don't think that's enough room for our fat dragon. I think we're going to sit our dragon on top of our title. It's about an inch and a half from the edge. That sort of straight. Okay. So let's get our unicorn. It's going to go here. So, when you all finish watching tonight's video, or this video, whenever you're watching it, whatever that may be, you know, which is tonight for some of you, I would really, really love it if you could go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Because um, I've got lots of watch hours. I just don't have many subscribers. And it's a bit out of whack. But I would really love that because what YouTube do, I'm going to line this up, the edge here with this photo, almost with this photo here. It's going to be out just a little from this photo. It's just... Wait, so Naomi John's going to put a link up to my YouTube channel, but I would really love it if you could go and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'd really appreciate that. I would love you if you did that. Do we want this extra photograph? Yeah, we do. Oh, let's put this little guy here. Yeah. Things on fine. That's okay. Yeah, I oh, know Jacqueline has. Jacqueline is my Tuesday scribe. If you don't come to Tuesday morning classes, you might not know that Jacqueline is our girl Tuesday. Uh, Mary was saying how safe is YouTube. YouTube is very, very safe. So, YouTube was one of the first places where you could put in to enter your text message and get a text message with a code to log in. Uh, YouTube takes safety extremely seriously. So if you find something on YouTube, let's stick our little mouse here. If you find something on YouTube that's offensive or nasty or something or inappropriate and you report it, they are more likely to do something about it. Because you know how I put that post out that on Instagram someone is, they haven't cloned my Instagram account, they have copied my Instagram account and they're pretending to be me, they're actually pretending to be me. Do you know that Instagram and Facebook, Facebook owns Instagram, have done nothing about it. I love you Facebook, but you're too slow to act when people are doing the wrong thing. 
and you're too quick to jump on people that aren't doing the wrong thing and tell them that they're in the wrong. They're really quick to try and tell me that I'm using someone else's music when I'm not. Because do you hear music in my video? Because I don't. But when someone's actually doing the wrong thing, Facebook take a little bit long. I have actually recorded a video back in 2020 that was offensive and it was displaying abuse of a female, physical abuse of a female in an inappropriate manner in a video. And it came up underneath one of my videos as a suggested video for my watchers to watch on Facebook. And I reported it and I got a report back from Facebook that there was nothing wrong with the video. Because they didn't check it, their artificial intelligence did and it loves that kind of video apparently. But yeah, so YouTube is very safe. Um, YouTube are very particular about things like um, political videos and that. They um, do categorise videos and, um, yeah, they do they do have video classifications and they're very strict on video classifications um karen h says that she loves your page it's magical uh tang b just uh, has subscribed barrel just realized it was a wednesday Brandy loves your page um, <laughs> hello barrel how are you that's okay don't the week can you believe it's week three of 2023 already how really, really scary. And um, I have to, I forgot to say, I hope everyone's okay, like weather-wise. I know some of you down south are doing it really tough with the heat. I know the heat is sitting, hitting some of you very, very hard. Do we want any more animals? And um, Debbie loves this page and the technique. Of the, the, the hacking uh, out. So we did we did some serious hacking out of the back. Uh, Leanne says there are now so many uh, too many people being hacked on Facebook and Insta. It's scary. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh, so then they haven't cloned me or hacked me. They have copied me, and they're even and it's an amateur that's done it because they're even if you click on don't do it if you click on the the link to my blog that they've got on there it actually goes to my blog so it's not someone so they're not even redirecting you to somewhere else there it's very yeah i'm really mad everyone else got invited to to to, to follow it except for naomi john and she's really annoyed do you know I why you didn't do you know why you didn't because no. you're the other person in the picture on my profile i'm just really annoyed naomi john extra. is really upset i've got that... an extra follower on my own insta and they decided to neglect me no they didn't follow you they haven't followed anyone but there are a few people. No, they followed Nora and Dad. No, they didn't follow them. They asked them to no, follow. They followed them. Did they follow them as well? Yeah. Oh, so be careful with that, everyone, because they followed people as well. They followed you as well. I'm just really annoyed. I'm going to get, you know. We're going to try and stick on some of these minuscule little sequins. Um, well, I don't know how we're going to do it. Deborah says, cool page. I love the preachers. Uh, Jack McGreaves, YouTube is good uh, with timing. Uh, there are a lot of uh, family bloggers that exploit their children on there for lots of money. Yeah. It's yeah. Really sad moment, isn't it? Um, Deborah's already subscribed. Do you love your layout? Can I just subscribe? Do you subscribe? No, I, I don't think I have. So, yeah, stick these little guys on. I don't have the dexterity not to do it. Well, maybe I'll just do. Oh, 
Helen's leaving because she's got internet problems. Oh, Helen, did you see that I sent you that week 50? And the um, scrapbooking video wasn't in there, which was really odd. Um, they all above your page. Everyone knows if someone whose page got wiped. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, they took over her page, didn't they? So, um, what she needs to do with her new page is make sure she's not the only admin. I meant to message you the other day that she needs to make sure that with her new page, Deborah, that she's not the only admin because apparently it makes it easier to get it back if you're not the only admin when someone steals your page, like tries to steal your page. Because what they've done is they've just got into her personal account and then changed her password. Then we have someone trying to do something to me, but you're an admin on my personal. So. Uh, no, no, no. You were in a messenger. So Naomi John in 2021 thought she was hacked because her friends are going, oh, Naomi, you've been hacked. You're sending us this stuff. But it wasn't Naomi that was sending them. They were all in a messenger group together. And what it was was one of the one of them had one of the girls had shared something from a university, an open QUT um, university page, like group that's just open to anyone that's ever been at QUT. I'm gonna say I've been a student at QUT and I'm not on the page. Um, I refuse to be because it's full of crap. Um and so she shared this weird meme and then she shared it into the um, into their messenger group. And then what happened was then the hackers got into the messenger group and then were able to pretend, can you just wash that please? Were able to be pretend to be people in the group. So they thought it was Naomi messaging, but it wasn't. It was this person that were in that was in her friend's account. So, yes, because when she shared the thing, she opened the door. You've got to be careful about those memes and, oh, if you, there's there's a couple going around. Um, if you want to only see your friend's posts in your feed, copy and paste and share this. Well, in those things, you know how they've got little symbols and they've got emojis and things in the writing? Well, they're actually searchable and they have these searchy things that find them and when they've done that you you can actually be opening a door to be actually hacked is by sharing those things copying and pasting those things that like if you only want to see your friends in your feed um there's another one about cancer there's a whole heap of them they're they're just, they're, they're actually malicious um you've just got to be so careful but I think Facebook's just gotten a little bit big for their security. Hopefully they do another security update soon and tighten up all the loopholes where people are able to copy other people and not do what happened to Deborah's friend and her business, people stealing your business page. That's terrible. Any left of tonight's class? Can I get one, please, Naomi John? Can you yeah. do that for Bronnie, please? Yeah, my, my internet's really short tonight, so if she could possibly... Okay. Where are you going? Are you doing it? Yeah, my computer's a bit more powerful than Dad's. Here, yeah. come around here and do it on here. My, my computer's just, if I have more than two, what do you need? Well, we got clothes in the washing machine. I'll deal with it after. Okay, oh, so yeah. there we go. I used the paintbrush and I picked up some bits of the glue and some of the little things and just popped them around. I got one, two, three, four, five, six little clusters. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Mary. Oh, and Mary wants one too, please. Um, that's where we've got them. The beauty of some of these kits is, so do you know what? Yeah, some of them we can repeat, but some of them we can't. But sometimes we can make a similar kit. We want to be able to get to that point where we can make them. And the code, 52303. No, not the top one. 
Um, so if you came along and said hello, hello, if I didn't say hello, um, and if you left a lovely comment, thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Pam and Bronnie and Helen and Mary and Joanne and Jacqueline and Tanya, Leanne, I said Bronnie. Hi, Liz. How are you? Um, but yeah, and thank you, Di. Yeah, this would be a really cool children's page, like Di just said. Really, really cool children's page. Um, thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Lorraine. So, um, thank you all for coming along. And I hope you have an amazing rest of the week. We'll be back tomorrow night with Naomi John's class. Um, I don't know what we're going, what she's using tomorrow night. I might, the one down the bottom. Um, last week I designed two rice papers for her class. Do you want rice paper again? Uh, sure. No, five, two, three, zero, three. Oh. Okay, so there's only one of the kit available now. Um, Night, Cheryl and Mary and Bronnie. Thank you, Debbie. Night, Helen. So thank you all for coming along. I hope you have an amazing day tomorrow. Naomi John will be back tomorrow night with Mixed Media in the group here. And then Friday night we're going to use Mermaid Wishes. And I don't know what I'm going to do. There was some murmurings about me doing a birthday page or something so I don't know what that's going to be there might be something in that I don't know um obviously it'll be a girly birthday page um I'm just gonna make a little foam tape pile to put behind his tail so his tail doesn't get ripped off when this goes to work it gets put in the pile of class pages Oh, there is a bit of foam there. I just need another bit. Oh, let's just make a big pile. There we go. It's got a big tail. Um, I didn't peel the tape off the back of either. Um, yeah, so we will see what I do Friday night. Thank you, Liz. Thank you, everybody. So take care. Stay safe. Uh, Mamie John's coming back. Mary and Bronnie, she has done your kits for you. There's only one of this week's kit left. And we will see you all tomorrow night. So thank you very much. Take care. Stay safe. Mamie's typing. Do you, can, I, can I go or are you typing stuff? You just wait. Oh, I've got to wait a second. Yeah. I have to wait a second. She's typing. She's not fast as me. But she's pretty fast for two fingers. No, I'm doing more than two. Thank you. Three. I do four. Four fingers. Two on each hand. No, no, four on each hand. My pinkies aren't great, though. Oh, I touched it. They're Night, Karen. Can, can can I go now? Yes. Have you shared what you were going to share? About to. Right. You need to share it so I can go. No. <laughs> it's a rock show, people. Night, everybody. Take care. Stay safe. Love is all, and we will see you all. Um, yeah, oh, thank you for coming. Oh, gosh, it's a novel. She wrote a novel. Okay, thank you all. See you later. Take care. Bye. It's such a novel.